So I'd like to introduce myself. I'm Edith Tobe, professional biologist. I'm executive director with the Squamish River Watershed Society. In the 1970s, um, BC Rail, back in the day, wanted to build a coal port right where we're standing. So in order to do that, they started to dredge out the Squamish River and they put what's called a training dike to keep the river over to one side and in essence dry out the land so that they could build a coal port. 1972, fisheries and oceans of the day came in and shut that down. But they didn't get them to remove the dike and they didn't get them to remove this massive pile of fill material that they had placed in the area we're standing today. This area was a moonscape. And then my organization became involved. And from 2001 to 2005, we worked to remove the former massive dredge spoil pile. All of the plants that you see here have been planted by volunteers since 2003. And so last year we had 500 school kids come through uh, this site specifically and um, they learned about the salmon that come up the tidal channels. They learned about invasive plants and uh, how to keep them out of the estuary. Downtown Squamish is in a traditional floodplain and so having estuaries, um, you know, protected estuaries in proximity to our downtown, um, you know, controls flooding from downtown. It's also the, the sort of um, basin for the, the watershed drainage and so it protects our, our oceans um, from, from excessive runoff and pollution. In uh, 2011, finally we're back with the area pretty much naturalized into estuary. It's looking great out here. <laughs>